The contents of this gameplay preview may contain spoilers for R-Type Final 3 Evolved. Good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are on this group record. I'm Caitlin, this is Reef Games Live, and here we have an R-Type Final 3 gameplay preview with Sebastian and Adam. Say hello, Sebastian and Adam. Hello. Hello, Sebastian and Adam. Hey, Hi, Adam. my guy over here getting Sebastian. the joke. Nice. And Adam. I hope you are all doing well. Uh, we're going to see what R-Type Final 3 Evolved has in stock for us. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get on in. This is, of course, gameplay on the PS. Five and uh, yes, we're very excited. I'm a bit of a disembodied voice today, uh, me, Caitlin, of the Reef stream team, because uh, room and spacing. We want to make sure we had enough uh, space for our wonderful guests today. Yeah. Well, thank you for having us and thank you for taking to the floor. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Hopefully, you won't be there for too long. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so a quick thing is, um, these are my ships. I. Uh, I made these ones. I, I didn't customize them, but um, that's because I, I, I'm a bit of a poor player when I play this game. So for I think I'm just gonna use one of the free basic ships that you kind of start with. So I'll just do the, this one. Well, they're very pretty ships. Yeah, and I can always change them or not. And the visuals to this game are just yeah, stunning, aren't they? really. They've done honestly, such a wonderful like job. I really preferred over the second game. Speaking of the second game, of course you have a uh, two courses. So this is like the map of the second game, mm -hmm. and this is like the new map that they came out with. And I really, really, really like the new map they made. Oh, and then, uh, of course, you have the typical kind of, um, you know, uh, the difficulty stuff. So uh, this affects, like, how many lives you have, but also practice. I believe um, it's, it's pretty much as it means you can't really lose at it. It's just a way to kind of practice how to, like, how enemies work and, and everything. So like that, that is essentially an unlimited lives. Option. Pretty much, yeah. but but as you as I was playing the game, um, like I think the further you get in some difficulties, eventually you just unlock like unlimited continues. So it is also affects like I think how enemies uh, kind of react. I think it's the speed of enemies. Mm -hmm. Like enemies get faster the more difficult it is and whatnot. Awesome. And of course we have like this stuff here too, which uh, in like so, so basically difficulty also mm -hmm. it affects how much like uh, resources or money you get. Yeah. So like if I were to make it harder, for example, I would be getting that much of a bonus. But I like to keep things simple for now. And of course, if I were to use some of these, um, it would lower like you know the money I get. And also you have to actually buy um, with in-game currency like mm -hmm. the stuff. So like power ups, for example, as it says here, you kind of lose it after you die. But if I were to use this like coupon, I'd be able to keep it. So. It makes the game a bit like easier to get through, so if you're having trouble, you can always do that. That's awesome to see, though, because one of my questions was going to be, what are the available accessibility options in this title? And we can, of course, see there are many. Yeah. So that's awesome. Because, and of course, these games are uh, infamously quite difficult yeah, so as shmups In fact, uh, if, if you really <laughs> wanted to, you could even make it even more difficult with these two options here. So, you know, if you want to make it so you can't use special weapons, turn it off, you get more money, but... Uh, yeah, I'd rather kind of keep it on, especially continues on and off. If you put continues to off, that pretty much means you have to get through the entire yeah. game on only three lives. That's and, wild. Uh, considering that the fact is. that um, you die in one hit, that is a uh, that is a very rough time. Oh, I think yeah. there'll be a lot of players that like this genre that are gonna love making it even more difficult. Oh uh, yeah. I think anything notorious and difficult, if you can have that badge of honor of being the best at the most difficult, always a good thing. Yeah. I'm gonna not skip the demo just so people can kind of see how it looks like when you uh, strike the oh, like just the up. Yeah, I think also they didn't show you this either too, Adam. So that's right. I'm I think, very uh, excited. <clears throat> yeah. Spooky. Yeah, it's nice. like the opening thing. Then you kind of see when you open the game yeah, too. Granzello have done like such a good job. Um, I had a little uh, preview of this the other day and. Uh, I was just stunned at the visuals. I think everyone's <laughs> going to be really excited to see what they've done with visual upgrade in Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, that's great. Mm. Like I, I played the um, I played the second one on the PS4, okay. and honestly, I think it really makes a giant improvement when you uh, like like from that to this. Mm -hmm. Especially uh, like it was still fresh in my mind too, like um, you know the the PS4 one. So kind of seeing this and how they upgraded everything, yeah. it's really good. And in fact. The level design is really nice too. Like the first level they decide to do for the uh, for this game, really just kind of shows off everything like really quickly, which That's I great. really like. I think you were saying that the uh, the environments seem brighter. 
would you say yeah, um, a little bit more a little bit more going on in yeah that yeah because in the second game it was you tend to be in space which of course you know because it's a space game and whatnot but uh in this game it feels like it's less you know closed off areas mm. deep dark space yeah like the first level which you'll see is just it's like daytime and there's like like, I don't want to spoil too much. We're about, we're about to get into it, actually, right now. We're about to launch in. Let's yeah, but, yeah. the issue with space is that there's a lot of space. Yeah. Uh, there, yeah. There's a lot of uh, nothing yeah, I mean, in I mean, space. So, just, of course... We just came out of a waterfall. We're, we're basically, like... Um, but yeah, returning to terra firma, you get a lot more uh, variety in your backgrounds and absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, yeah. So. yeah. I mean, look at this. So vibrant, so lush. Yeah, like, really? the water effects really good, too. All right, let me take that. So, now, here's, like, the main kind of... The, thing, the main mechanic that I really love is this little ball here. Yes. So Bulb. it gives more firepower, but it's also, it's in itself, it's a projectile. You see that, I can destroy enemies with it. It's like a ball of death, because anything it touches will get destroyed, and it blocks shots too. And it makes you charge like this little, um, the dose at the bottom. In the little bottom left hand yeah. corner, yeah. So the dose mechanic is that going to be like a special? It's launches? it's like a it's like a screen clearing thing. I'm sure we can get to it eventually. But the little ball thing itself, too, put it behind me. It's like it's like one of the only ways for me to be able to actually attack enemies that are behind me. Okay. So I can launch stuff behind. But I, I gotta position myself pretty well. Because uh, it's a little unconventional in that there's no, you know, bombs that are screen clears. You have to sort of establish and earn and uh, improve upon the little ball to yeah. get the screen clear, which in itself yeah. is the and dose. You see, the color of this power up here will also change how the ball reacts. So, like, yes. the blue one. Uh, like now, if I attach it, he'll start. will start shooting like this little beam, and and the uh, the weapon that it uses is dependent on the ship I use. So my ship, its blue one, is 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 just this. Wow. So I mean, I was gonna say like as a fan of uh, older archive games and schmucks in general, this is kind of why I'm here, yeah. soaking in this new stuff. Um, I think archive has always been very well known for this little orb, actually. Like you know. For, for this ability to do stuff that's unconventional, like shoot behind you, rather than having to pick a power up, you've got this ball that's you're almost like your little companion. You yeah, say, he, like he's like his, whole, it's whole like game. um, cool. it's like his own ship. Okay. All right, so you get like this little bit too, and got a again, friend. Yeah, a, like more friends. Yeah. More friends. The like, so the ship really changes everything. Yes. Oh, like also that's one of my favorite enemies, this little um, sea serpent kind of thing. But um, the ball kind of, the ship type changes a lot of things. Now I got like the red power up, and you can see like now I'm shooting like these little weird laser things. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's yeah. Amazing. And, and so also cool. the behavior of the little ball changes too. Like um, for this ship, the ball tends to seek out enemies in like a very weird pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, for everyone, it tends to either chase or like follow you. So a lot of things change depending on the, like, the ball. So, Sebastian has mentioned their, their favorite enemy in the Big Serpent Boy. I was actually going to say they're my favorite enemy too. Yeah, they're, they're really good. Yeah, I, big I, Serpent Boy. From what I saw, I feel like the Serpent was a big, big yeah. standout. Ah, here we go. Now it's time boy. for the first boss, oh, the first stage. The Big Serpent Boy. Yeah. I embarrassed myself when I showed it off to everyone where I, I kept dying in the first stage, but there's no harm in it. You know, the game is quite difficult. Yeah, Adam, thankfully, off. did show it off. Oh. Okay, so. I know I said all that, and I did die, and I'm going to have to start that now with um, no power-ups. But one of the things I, I should probably mention is uh, bottom left, you can see speed. So sometimes being too fast can be a bit detrimental. It's so like, you know, I might try and dodge something, but I'm too slow, I'm too fast. So for that one, I need to make sure I'm like moving at this speed, which means I need to swap myself to speed one, because uh, the enemy is like very closed in, and I want to make sure I don't accidentally just ram myself into it. Sure. So with the speed, like, uh, are you able to manually decrease it, or is it just going up based on like things that you're? Picking? So I'm basically I have like there's two buttons. There's like L1, L2. So L1 lowers the speed, L2 high, like brings up the speed. It's kind of like, I mean I don't drive, but I'm just, it's it's like when you kind of change gears on yes. a car, you know, like you go faster, or go slower, or start reversing and all that. So for this, like now I'm gonna start lowering my speed so I can. Minorly adjust myself. Yes, because my, obviously yeah. there's nuance to the movement, isn't there? Because with this boss, like you'll see from the early stages, obviously you didn't get into too much. But he's got, you've got yeah, very, he very basically puts movement. you in a cage, exactly. and I can't, I can't see. I have to make sure I find like the right zone Absolutely. where I'm not like getting crushed by him. 
So yeah. you showed that you, you can change the difficulty at the start. Are you able to change it like mid run or? Uh, no, because okay. uh, it's mainly to do with like, the cost. That's yes. Everything too. You can decide to kind of give up a run, mm. and then you can like restart it. But uh, but you're not giving this run up. You're gonna do this. No, this I I I, I am like. With, with, with games like this, I think a lot of shmups, um, you can say yourself, Adam, that sometimes like shmups are just kind of like puzzles in a way. So once I kind of learn the pattern of the enemy, you know, I can like get through that boss pretty, fairly, you know, fairly easily, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely about, um, uh, ooh, pattern recognition. Uh, yeah, yeah, and sometimes <laughs> as you try and learn things, you get worse. Um, I'm going to give it another go. Now, I have infinite... <laughs> credits right now Good. just because I, I did play the game quite a bit but when you usually start you kind of start off with like nothing i might want to change ships here actually just because uh that's like one of the things you can change uh when you actually have to do a continue is you can change like what ship type you have so i think i'm going to go with like a different one just to kind of show you like what it looks like when you do change things so let me go with like the first ship which is like very bog standard um like you know not bug sand, but so like, the variation in ships is a, a variation in the weapon and its stats. And yeah, such. it's like this. Th yeah, this powered up shot is like a piercing shot, and you also see like. Um, so now you can see my bit there. He's moving less sporadically. The other one moved, started moving diagonally, right? Mm -hmm. This one is moving more in like a organized kind of forward and back manner. Yeah. And of course, the the other weapons too, like little bombs, oh. like throw and everything. So uh, yeah. the the other one latched onto the orb more, whereas this one's just like resting on its uh on its snoop, just going, "Hi, yeah. I'm uh, here." I did not see that. Okay, if, you know, it's all right. You've got, you, you got this. You start learning. Yes, Absolutely you start learning. This. I was going to say from earlier, like you were mentioning about me saying about these games often, like almost being like a puzzle game. You're having to not just have uh, bullet recognition, pattern recognition, but you also then have to have like a, a level of reaction. So it's like that, it's that mixture, it's that nice balance of like, even if you've seen something before, you still have to be ready to kind of have those very like quick time reactions. Yeah, like me, me getting through the first level without really dying at the start. Yeah, you know, and then you, then you die and then you're like, okay, I need, like I don't have as an easier of a time getting there because I have less upgrades and, and like all this like, like I said, anything can kill you in one hit, so it's just a case of remembering not to, not to do what I just did, for example. I'm, I'm gonna give it one more try because I do have one life left where I do never continue. But um, but uh, yeah, the game does reward you if you're if you're able to like actually get through without dying as much as I have. You're showing the difficulty. And, uh... Well, yeah, I mean, woo! Nothing yeah, wrong. yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Don't a, mind me. <laughs> it's a lot of there's a lot to handle in this game. So it's one of those things as well where um, everyone kind of looks at these. It's very interesting. A question that came up when we were talking about shmups. I was actually doing like a little session with uh, some new colleagues and talking about the history of shmups and things like that. And uh, it's interesting how depending on where your eyes sit, like because obviously there's a lot of bullets going on. Uh, will depend on if you can kind of like use your peripheral to pull it almost like you're getting into a mode yeah. where you're not really looking at the enemies but what's surrounding you yeah and, uh, and also you can see here when i picked the blue one the blue um attack is much different mm -hmm. i was able to okay i think i think like see see i'm also very worried about touching it for me contact damage with enemies not the ones that shoot like that's worse I think resting here would be fine. Well, it's like the, the whole thing when you first get into bullet hells and shmups is you're looking where, uh, like where the bullets are, which isn't necessarily the right thing to do. It's it's not the wrong thing to do, of course, but it, but that's what newcomers do. But as you develop experience, you generally look. You're not looking where you are, where the bullets are, but you're looking for the spaces in between because exactly. that's where you yeah. need to go to survive, yeah. right? So you see here, I I'm like throwing the ball at him too because it's extra damage if you contact him. Nice. There you wow, go. Oh, yeah. That was wonderful. Well yeah. done. <laughs> oh, with a lovely sunset yeah. as well in the background. Uh, you really destroyed him. The quickly. water is gorgeous. Yeah, well, once Sorry. Once you start <laughs> like, learning it, it's, it's, it gets a lot easier. You that. have to think of the ball as not only another ship but also another projectile. Mm. So as you as you probably saw me doing there, I was like shooting the ball at its eye because the contact damage of the ball itself is really really high mm -hmm. so i mean you can even do a thing where like um 
while it's attached to you, you can basically ram yourself into an enemy to do contact damage. Oh, fantastic. Not not your entire ship, but the nose. Just but the but nose. it is very dangerous because, of course, like... Yes. Yeah. But the ball also, like, negates some shots, not all of them. So if you know a shot can be, like, destroyed by the ball, you can use that to your advantage to basically just annihilate an enemy like that. Like, the main threat of that enemy was the fact that the stage was very small, so mm. you kind of get panicky, you start thinking, I don't know where to go. There, I was just trying to move myself up and down, mm -hmm. try not to uh, get touched while also just throwing a ball at him. Adam, I think it's your turn to... Um, it's my turn to take the I range. think it's your turn okay. to, to, you know, I mean, you have one life left and whatnot. But you see, I, I managed to get ourselves some uh, resources and everything, so... At least you've given me... Uh... Lots to work with, Sebastian. That is true, and you can change ships when you when you finish it. Okay, yeah, that's a really cool option actually. Yeah. So it's almost like you felt like you just about nailed it with yeah. the strategy on a ship, but you might be like, oh, there might yeah, be something I, that's I like think a definitely there's going to be people who will kind of recommend, nice. hey, use this ship for this stage, then swap to this ship and everything. Yeah. And also, not to mention, um, you, I saved you a bunch of resources uh, to be able to, to use in this stage, and, and, and by that I'm talking about the. Uh, the the the, the uh, what's it called bottom left what's that meter called again I think it was called dose, dose. yeah dose stuff dose I think it stands for something but yeah ooh okay. again the water and the weather is, oh you gotta be careful I'm loving it so, so the entire ship is an enemy um, so there is some contact ooh. damage that can occur. Yeah, and if you do need to move yourself faster, it's L1 and L2 to like up or down the speed. Yeah, and like He's I said, stuff like laser. that, you can't, uh, you cannot absorb it with the uh, bullet. So, a quick two-part question for you. A quick two-part question for you, Sebastian. Yeah. What is your favorite game mechanic that we've seen so far? And what is your favorite game mechanic uh, interaction? Because I know there are different interactions mm. between, like, say, the ball. Uh, if the ball was your favorite game mechanic, like, well, in what way is it your favorite? Yeah, game so definitely that is the main mechanic that I love. It's just the little ball itself. Like, at first, I didn't quite understand what it was there for. I thought it was just a meaningless kind of upgrade just to add more damage, but... The ball in itself, it's kind of like your indestructible co-op ally. Like, it's not really a ship, but it's it's you need to like kind of keep track of it. So having to kind of protect yourself, but also use the ball to defensively or offensively, I think is very, very nice. Like, you have that kind of nice little mix there. And also, it changes like a lot of the way that the ships work. Like, all the ships have like the same. Um, Ooh, I've just completely lost focus then. <laughs> yeah, like like all the ships have a different, like have kind of the same firing mechanic. Mm. But once you get the ball, it has its own like you know it starts to have its own unique stuff about it. Like right now it's shooting normally, but once it gets level two, it starts shooting like a special beam and everything like that. So I honestly love the clean interactions it has, the the way it changes like how some enemies work. Like in fact, uh, one of it's like. The ball, if it's level three at a for a certain ship, it makes like the projectile like track along the floor. Oh, so, there's like, stuff coming from there. I've got to be. They're being yeah, sneaky. There's stuff from all <laughs> angles. In but this. but but pretty much what I'm saying is like it can change the strategy for some stuff. Like uh, for one ship, a strategy may be that you want to hide because now your ball can like auto track and like deal with enemies while you focus on dodging. Well, another might want, require you to be more like you have to aim everything too. Hmm. Well, this is not my finest hour. Okay. This level is very much you have to get rid of everything in front of you, but even then, yeah, things like to pop stuff. up behind you. Yeah, yeah. there's stuff because there's the little guy, and oh, and the game doesn't quite Woo! like giving you uh, resources to deal with stuff behind you. I, I can. Okay. I think I could show you. Take you. the reins again. Yeah. I, I think, uh, see, now I remember playing this one quite a lot um, when I was doing like a lot of tests and stuff. But yeah, I mean, how, what do you think about it so far, though, um, Adam? Yeah. I really like it. Um, I think that uh, when I did a test, uh, I did the first level and I actually did okay. Um, but I feel like the the thing about it is this genre. Um, obviously, is you know it's a staple in arcades. Uh, it was obviously when arcades were massive, um, and then obviously of recent years we've been lucky enough to be partnered up with uh, NOS America doing like a lot of these these titles. 
Um, I think that what I really like is that the fidelity, it just will bring in like a lot of new players because as much as like the mechanics are good, I think that people like pretty things, right? Yeah. So I think uh, that this genre like what well, has never been better looking. I mean there has been there has not been a game that has uh, wowed me in this genre uh, visually like this before. I mean, they all look great stylistically, but the fidelity is just something else. I mean, I think it's one of those things where you hear it's going to be on a new engine and you think, okay, look, what can I do? But I think like the part of War Effects and things are really just like absolutely out of this world. Um, it does uh, also uh, yeah, have a nice little <laughs> explosion effect there. Yeah, you can see um, like with this game, Sometimes you just don't even remember where a lot of stuff is. Like, I thought I could be sneaky and kind of hide there, but I'm, then uh, the game likes to remind me, hey, there's an enemy to pop up here, so uh, gotta be careful about that. Like, there's no... Right. I was about to say there's no contact damage, and I remember the entire ship is actually the enemy. So yeah. there is contact damage on this level because... Uh, what I meant by contact damage is, like, if you ram into a wall, mm -hmm. you don't die. Okay. But for this level... The enemy yeah. is the ship, so... Anything that is fast <laughs> yeah. as an enemy has contact damage, basically, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, like, if I touch the ship right now, I'll die. So I gotta make sure I'm not touching it. But I'm also trying to, like, not avoid... Because, you know, the, the enemy is literally taking up, like, half of the screen, so... But we are slowly developing dose, so we will soon be able to show off the big... Yeah. big Big boom I believe mechanic. All, I believe also, <laughs> the big boom! Yeah, I believe also yeah. dose uh, affects the, the damage of the wall, too. Yeah. The big boom is not the official term, it is now. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I think Ooh. that for me, uh. like, uh, just as someone that has played like these games on and off for years, I think I used to, um, I used to play like a lot of the kind of earlier R types. Um, obviously, what I like about this is that they haven't changed so much that fans of like this genre are going to be like, you know, what do I have to do? Like, there's too many mechanics, but they have kind of just subtly refined it in a way that I think people are going to really appreciate. Yeah. Um, I do think that uh, obviously, like with the difficulty, what's nice, obviously we're playing on normal now, but you you have that practice mode, so you have that stuff where people can kind of like practice. I mean, it, to be honest, if we keep struggling, we could always just do that just to show it off a bit more. Um, it's one of those things where, like, once you've got those kind of patterns down in the practice mode, it's a bit like a fighting game, <laughs> you can, you, you know, you'll be able to train, go into training mode, yeah. as it were, and then really show off your stuff. Dose is almost uh, at its completion, though, so we may be able to show that up. It, yeah, it's, um, I mean, uh, basically, like, the only way to get it up is to shoot yeah, yeah, like yeah. that, so now that's fully charged, uh, um, it will do more damage, so there is a reason for you why you want to keep it. But if I am, if I feel like I have to, I will just press the, the button. And how do you pull that little button? What, the big boom button? Big boom. The big yeah, the big boom button. Big boom. Oh yeah, okay, so the, oh, wow. these things right here. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. Big boom. Okay, big boom. I, I think... I think if I get to that part again, I will just be pressing the big button. Just because, <laughs> um, now, I know it seems like we're pretty bad at this, but uh, I assure you... No, the you, game's hard. We're I, on normal yes, difficulty, I, aren't we? I, like, yes, but I, I assure you... Even for vets. Yes. The thing it, is, is the one-hit kill thing, like, you know, it is one of those things that's always going to be. It doesn't matter how good you are. If you haven't yeah. seen something come at you and your eyes aren't focusing, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's also quite difficult to just, like... You know, like talking to other people and doing all this stuff. I'm not saying you guys are distracting me. I'm just saying that like, <laughs> I'm a distraction. I'm just saying that like there's there's ways people handle things. It, also, like it's I f think for me it's also one of those cases where like I start to get worse instead of improving mm. sometimes, it, just because I just go panicky. Okay, now it'll be a lot easier to have those enemies. Okay, there we go. So now for those those enemies right there, we, I mean not enemies, they're really parts of the ship. So I'm trying to attach the ball behind me, Ooh. but okay, I'm just gonna have to do it. That's the big boom. Ooh. So I I, ah, I destroy the things behind me. So that is very strong against the boss, by the way. But like like I said, the only way to deal with stuff behind me is to just ooh, that's bomb. Okay, so now bomb. How did you deploy that? Uh, it's automatic. So once I grab it, it just starts to deploy by itself. Okay. Yeah. So I think for this level, Adam, now that I'm, I think it gives a checkpoint there. Thankfully, I hope so. Hopefully. No. no. Okay. <laughs> but now that you kind of see what's after that, you can kind of prepare. But 
I think for this stage, the main tip I'd give is um, you really want to focus on destroying the these guys, like the little attachments to the ship, as soon as possible. Because if you don't, it's gonna start over like overwhelming you. Like, you. like you know when I destroyed that little thing that came out at the start, it was a lot easier to get to the next part. Like, uh, yeah, like like that guy behind me is making it quite difficult. But now that I know that after this guy does this thing, so if I destroy this guy really fast, there you Ooh. go. Now it's gonna be a lot easier to handle like the next part. But I need to also bring the ball back to attach it behind me. And then there's the enemy right there. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know. How about you give it? You, you see what I, I've I like been able to do. I need to crank the uh, old difficulty <laughs> down so people can see a little bit more of the game. <laughs> I, I, I mean, remember that, that no matter what difficulty, the, the one hit kill is still going to be applies, there. Right. So it's now now that we've seen a few loops, uh, how would you explain the core gameplay loop of a shmup? Oh, my God. Uh, Live, die, die repeat? Die is somewhere in there. <laughs> die, yeah, die, die is somewhere in yeah, there. Yeah. Shoot, die, repeat. Shoot, shoot, upgrade, die, repeat. That's yeah. four. That's like <laughs> and get good. I mean, I think it is one of those things. I think that, like, the four loop probably is. Yeah, you are looking at uh, shooting, uh, obviously, being the, <laughs> the main thing there, right? But, like, it's one of those things where, oh, my goodness. Yeah. So look. It's like asking the asking on the ones and twos. Where I, the, <laughs> the first thing I say is shooting. Yes, no. The core uh, gameplay loop. I wanna you obviously go back are um, identifying enemies that you need to take down in like a orderly manner. Like it might seem like yeah, you just shoot that. like chaotically the whole time. But you definitely want to be making sure that like you're managing your resources a little bit as well. Obviously, with this one, with the like screen clearing, you want to maybe be holding on to that for as long as you can. Um, I do think that you also, one of the very key things, another another thing to focus on is movement. Now movement is actually probably just, in, if, if anything, you'll, you'll notice with a lot of like really good shmup players, they're always shooting because they're more focused on their movement. And then obviously by proxy, you're going to be like able to- Should we do stuff. practice or kids? Let's do, let's do practice. Okay. Just so that okay. we can okay. show okay. Uh, Yeah, pr practice um, um, does make the game a bit like, I'm trying to remember if there's something else. So, you can see with practice mode, uh, you just kind of... Actually, no, Ooh. wait. It, it may be just because I started from the stage, but it, it assumes that you didn't die in the last stage. You've got three it, ults, now man. I have... Uh, so now I'm like fully upgraded, right? Wow. So, That's pretty. this is the max level with all the bits, so I have all these little projectiles. So now, because I'm so upgraded, it's going to be very easy to uh, deal with all the enemies that come out. So, I, you know, now I'll just be able to kind of... But it does look very pretty. It looks really <laughs> yeah. pretty. Um, it's quite pretty. While you're playing, actually, like, I thought it's one of those things where... Um, when Caitlin was saying about the, the core ga gameplay loop as well, because I think it's definitely one of those things where you, uh, you know, you, you start just shooting with your basic weapons, then you kind of, once you gain your upgrades, you then want to make sure that you keep hold of those upgrades to, to, to utilize and maximize. But more importantly, I think that like the key thing is to kind of pattern, memorize, and also like work on your um, execution and your movement as well. Yeah, definitely. That may be not. A I mean, you can see with, with this upgrade, upgrade here, because of the fact that the well, the uh, little special attack travels along the floor, it's basically just destroying all the enemies that's on the ship, which is like amazing. It's like one of the best upgrades to kind of get. It's like I don't even, I don't even have to kind of aim at stuff. I may want to change upgrades. Like, see, if red won't make it better. It will just change the weapon type, and usually the weapon oh, type is behind pretty you. important. Yeah, so now it's back to this. Of course, that is head, the prettiest yeah. one. I, 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 I do love how If that I looks. can attach it behind me, it'll shoot. You know, do the same thing Ooh. behind me. So <laughs> now I have ways that, like, now the thing with this ship is the fact that um, you see, this is the end of the ship. Now we're going backwards, oh, wow. but we don't turn backwards. We're still facing it the wrong way. Which means that now I have to focus on having the ball behind me at all times because we're about to, uh, you know, wow. get some trouble. So now the ball, Ooh. the ball is literally my. I didn't realize it was still up, mind you. It's going underwater. I yeah, I didn't realize laser was still up, but okay, now I'm back to level one. But yeah, with kids, you, you get the ball back, but now I don't have all the pretty stuff. But it's okay. I, I think oh, it's that's good. cool. It's good to show so you. You're like, going back works. under the ship. Yeah, we're, we're gonna turn around. Now you can kind of see 
why we're oh, actually oh. after the ship to begin with. Uh, That's no ship. That's a living vessel. <laughs> yeah, uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm about to get the upgrade. I'm worried about this stuff here, but I got this little guy. Right, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to start clearing out these stuff that's attached. I feel like a little alien penguin or something. This is a slight aside, but I personally think the sea is much uh, scarier and creepier than the than space. Because, oh, it's just oh, darkness. Yeah. A lot going on. Yeah. Oh, okay, I was very close. I was trying to... I didn't realize it would go down, so I was trying to get like through the bottom part really mm. fast, but unfortunately not on time. That's extremely creative. I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, it's wonderful. I mean, I think the level design in this is so superb. Like I didn't play much of um, R Type Final Two, um, but do you feel like the level design like they've gone above and beyond that? Definitely. Um, like, I've, as from what I've played of the second game, I think they've done a, just a really good job on this one. Like, like to improve levels and everything. All right, now I'm a little free, so it should be a little bit easier just getting fast. But it is really, really clever what they've done. Yeah. I'm sure that when it goes low. Yeah, that I go high. Mm -hmm. Or I can destroy it before first. There you go, that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. But also, you see I'm like throwing it out, retracting it, because the bullet the bullet spray doesn't change. I need to like kind of just have it destroy things for me. It's a very, very useful ally level. Yeah. If you would say like your, your biggest takeaway, would you say that it is the, like this ball is the key to this game. Yes, because I'm about to fight the next boss, by the way. Yes. Is it not? <laughs> well, not exactly. Alright. Ooh. Alright, so. Let's see what I have to shoot at. So, uh -huh. so it's got like these little cyst things. And it's shooting a laser. And if those little icicles touch a laser, it's gonna explode, which means I have to focus on... Oof! Ah, I, was, I have to need to focus on where the thing is itself. But, I think I can do it now, because I have um, my dose leveled up to max. Nice. So, nice. Always, I, always I, I have a chance, which means that if I... Uh, oh, actually, I don't think I can, because um, I don't have any more credits. Oh, no! <laughs> you don't have any more credits? No, I don't. Because that was a stage selection, so if I were to play it normally and get that far, I would be able to, but I didn't uh, have any credits, unfortunately. Okay. So, that was my one chance. But, you know, if I if I did get past it, you know, I, I think if you wanted to, I could show you what the next level is. Yeah, let's have uh, one little look at level three, let's, let's and then I think that. we'll wrap things yeah, up. Yeah, we'll just pretend that, that I used the big explosion attack and got to level three, and that um, I'm a winner. <laughs> You're first, always a winner in our hearts. Thank so. you, but first I have to actually uh, pause, but I can't because we're in a little cutscene, so give me a second. I do love how the cutscenes do give you that sort of like, th almost third perspective, like, it, it's kind of 2.5D already, yeah, but yeah. that, that cutscene gives you the 3D perspective, which I yeah, think yeah. is really I awesome. I really love that. Also, I, I never know. noticed this, but apparently you can change the stage title, so ah. in, in case you wanted to... Really mess with your friends. If you wanted to mess with your friends, but also if you wanted to express how much you hate the game, <laughs> or, or rather the level, and you may want to put down a uh, big boss, bad, I don't know. Big meanie in the sea. Yeah. Yeah, scouting big meanies big in the meanies sea. Big meanies in the sea and the sky. How about <laughs> yeah. that? In fact, how about you? How about you do it? Me? Yeah. I I, I haven't earned am Wait, I, wait, I, actually, wait, 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 That's the same level. Where is it? Yeah, that, that's the same level. That is the stage. That's the stage. There we level. go. I, 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 uh, I noticed one, it because I. And the yes, I, uh, one, two, I got and mistaken. Then two. I got mistaken. One, two, here you go, here you go. Here Thank you very much. There we go. Change the title. Change the title. We. We. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know where this is going. I'm a little scared, to be honest. We, 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 we've got this. We've got this. That's your official mission title for this? We've got this. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Mission, we've got this. And then if we go into... Yeah. Oh. Okay, now you just... Okay. And a little hot. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I see, I see. You. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yeah, there is a load of customization in this game. A load of customization. It's great. It is, uh, Honestly, it's so great. What does that mean? 
Benzilla? Yep. What's that? Yeah. They made this. And the devs! We oh! We oh. love the fact that they brought this genre back full force. Oh, okay. Alright. It may be not the most informed on a lot of, uh, like, you know. I, I, I appreciate all the people who made um, the other games. Well. Yeah. I'm just not. I'm not so used to names. Oh, they look like little tardigrades. Yeah, this one's kind of like going to an ant colony in a way. Ooh. Wow, these guys are very little tardigrade boys. I think disgusting. <laughs> well, they're pretty so spooky. Boys. Yeah, and you'll start to kind of see how they work and whatnot. Yeah. See, I mean, this is almost like it gives you like a nice little hint of like what you could get if you were better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't forget, if you need more damage, you can like throw the ball out. Like honestly, I I'm always throwing the ball out just to, to it's like. Need to remember that. Yeah. Like you need to. The ball is also like your scouting tool. You need to send them out to shoot enemies before they get to you. This Ready? Is this is again. This is a real first look with like the amount of time. Well, you know. Yep. I think I, I figure it's a lot more interesting than than like if you were to get for the entire game. About, I mean, I guess it would be pretty impressive, but if you got for like the entire level. Not the speed one. Just not that. Be next, next week. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if um, anyone on the streaming team is gonna play this, but if they are, of then uh, okay, good because uh, now I can say uh, good luck. Yeah. I, I uh, hope that whatever you see here can give you at least Ooh. some uh, tips. Uh, don't stop shooting, keep on moving. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and remember, Adam, the, the ball only shoots when you're using, like, the rapid fire normal shooting. Otherwise, like, uh, the, okay. the, like the charging stuff won't really, like, let the ball shoot. Right. That was close. The, uh, yeah. Like, I always just have my button on R2, just because it always shoots out. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay, that really helps. You didn't know that? I didn't. Oh, okay, well... <laughs> well, now you know. Facebook. Yeah. It's way easier. Now I can shoot the ball out with X. This is great. Yeah, that, 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 that's what I was doing the entire time. So now you can just keep shooting the ball out to like shoot enemies below you too, because it has like yeah, that, that multiple really ways. Works a control so keep shooting. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So You're getting angry. They're getting angry. Again, the background. Sorry, just to keep on har harping on, playing the same tune, but damn, they are beautiful. They really are. They really are. This engine is just wild. So, this is good. I won't speak too soon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just entranced by the, the game. I won't speak. I'm just impressed that once you tell Adam, like, one little thing to, like, hey, you know, that you can just. Keep this. shooting by doing this. He's just like oh. annihilating it. <laughs> like he was handicapping himself. I'll be careful that enemy below you. They are creeping me out yeah, up top. I don't like them. You, like you see the little red eye things. They they're, they're like conduits. I like they're, trying, they're trying to connect to each other. I like so. having this as well. It's really helpful. Yeah. You are quite close to the end of the stage, by the way. I think it's after this little corridor of uh, eggs. And corridor of pain. And, and again, I think you want to shoot that ball out just to start. Clearing stuff out. Ooh. Just because you know you can't shoot stuff below you, want not you want to start just clearing out above and whatnot. Oh, <gasps> they're sneaking up behind you. Oh, yeah, that's where you can attach the ball behind you and shoot it. Yes. You. Start it out. There you go. Yeah, you want to like adjust where the ball is, and so now maybe you want to. Put it in front of you. This preview is truly Adam's training arc in the yeah, in R Type Final Three. You're watching the montage in real time. Look yeah, at the lighting. Yeah, you on super, this. you supercharged. Yeah, the that lighting. Oh I think you're very Look close to the that. boss right now. In fact, this may be the boss room. It's giving you a. Uh, it is giving you a power up before. Why you do go I hear in. boss music? Mm. Oh. Okay. Yes, it is a boss. Oh, All right. Yeah. Has the same kind of principles as you can see the little red oh, thing. Nice. You want to shoot that, but you're gonna. Ooh, dear. Yeah. Of course, it's hard to shoot below you, so you might you want to start Ooh. using. Ooh. 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 Yeah, you want to start using the ball. Interesting. Just to throw it out. So we can... Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ah. Snuck up right behind you. I did okay. Yeah, but 
rely on your ball. Throw it out. Trust because, in ball. Uh, because the ball will, at least for some ships, will try and seek out the enemy's weak point. But now you're all the way back here. I guess we will play it until I leave. Yes. Okay. Well, this is your last life, so um, don't let that discourage you. But no, no, never. you've got nothing but a ball and a dream. <laughs> Well, and the dream has uh, unfortunately become a nightmare. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is game over. But uh, if you are better at shmups, then uh, you can school us and uh, at us on Twitter, yeah. uh, at Reef Games, at Reef Games Live. Uh, and we'll be honored to see you do some awesome high scores. Because, uh, yeah. yeah, shmups and high scores go hand in hand. Yes, that's another thing. We as also well. shown I mean, off like, uh, this feature. Racing, so. racing to high scores, I think that. Uh, a very key thing with shmups, and I think with this game in particular, you're going to have these online leaderboards and people are going to fight for them. And I think what's nice about it is that high scores are not just about, hey, like, I've got the highest score. It also is showing you, like, a level of proficiency. Because with these games, it's not just about completing them. You don't just go start to finish and then that's the game done and you put it down. You're, the whole loop is all about getting better and uh, apparently doing jives and... and, and <laughs> This is the th thank you for watching dance. The, yeah, yeah. So yes, there is indeed like a little PlayStation Home esque. It it's like a little hub, so yeah. you can gather your friends, uh, show off that you're better than them with your fancy suit <laughs> and whatnot. But there's there's like a lot of customization you can do. Like you know, um, I can kind of show you the shop uh, once I can actually get out of here. Like you know, let me show you. Like, all that hard-earned work we did wasn't for naught, Adam. Because everything we've earned now comes here, so... Beautiful. We have, like, the decorations for our ships, so if we want to die gloriously with better-looking uh, ships, we can change the way we look, so you can see that little suit, and also, like, emotes, and also things put around oh, so uh, cool. yeah, rooms and whatnot. And the special the here place. is... So, the little tickets here, they're to help with the gameplay if you do want them. Uh, and these here, these little things are just to um, like the resources you can buy to make to make new ships, pretty much. Yeah, like there's there's a lot to kind of do in the game. There's lobby ability and whatnot. Like the museum itself, this is how you get new ships. So like, if I were to like uh, go over here, for example, it says coming soon, so I can't get that one uh, just yet. But there are some ships you can buy once you kind of have enough resources. Actually, I think it even cleared there. specified stages. Yeah, you yeah. Need to it, it, stages. it tells you exactly what you need before you can actually do it. Oh, very cool. So, there's like a lot of things to do. Yeah, that has been R Type Final Three Evolved. Uh, I've been Caitlin. This has been the ever wonderful Adam and Sebastian, and we hope you have enjoyed this uh, gameplay preview on the PS5. Uh, thanks for coming out, and uh, we hope to see you around soon. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. Much. Bye bye. bye.